I'm afraid the young groom-to-be isn't out of danger. He brought something back with him into the lodge. You should attempt to remove that ring from his finger without alarming the happy couple. What were you doing out there? I'll keep your chaps on, Alistair. We just ran into some robe-wearing punks with bad manners, and the Vault Hunter and I had to beat a sense of decorum into them. Nothing more to worry about. Let me get a look at that fancy ring there, Wainwright. Oh, sure, of course. Have you seen Mr. Ford? The vessel, vessel has, has been, been chosen. chosen. It's, it's only a matter of time. Winnie, what are you saying? What? I, I don't... I don't know. But I do feel a bit... Uh, sideways. It is as I feared. Another moment of your time, if you would. At... The counter. That ring on his finger has powers beyond mortal comprehension. The Lodge is slowing the effect to a degree. But the outcome... is inevitable. You must find a way to remove it, or I'm afraid he will miss the ceremony. Entirely. There is a man known as Burton Briggs who is proficient at uncovering... secrets. A detective of sorts. He can help you learn more about this ring and its origin. Look for him at his agency, the Eyewitness. Do be careful. Your actions this night have stirred the bonded into quite the frenzy. The streets will be rather hazardous. You could always stay here. The Lodge wants you to be... comfortable. Help me, Nix. Doc. I go by DJ Midnight. Gage hired me to spin dark dirges and mix malevolent melodies in the name of undying love. But my sounds are stale, putrid, insufferable. I require new samples. Record some sinister sounds for me. Yes. Sure, why not? I used to do a fair bit of recording in my day. Corporate espionage and the like. Excellent. And so Duh! our dark journey begins. We hunt for the sinister sound. Take that echo recorder, my trusty conductor. A moment of your time. The rules of the Lodge must be respected. The Lodge only wants to provide hospitality, but I am afraid there are still some who abuse their guest privileges. A young man named Gideon has made off with a selection of... exotic wines, without paying his tab. If you could find him, the Lodge would be ever so grateful. Gideon came in from the cold in need of shelter. He asked for something to blind him from the things he had seen. Of course, I had just the claret for him. He took to it well. Too well, it seems. Whatever respite the Lodge provides you is only temporary. And while my beloved recovers, I will have to content myself with you. So let's play, Worm. I roughed up a local priest, and he told me the Pearl of Inevitable Knowledge was last seen in a haunted shipwreck within the Cavern of Unmentionable Sorrow. Wish me luck! <laughs> Stop! 
for a bushel of mangy gets. I have to... Uh, hold on. Uh, uh, uh. Oof! That's a raw deal there, girl. A while I have you. Any idea where Burton Briggs is at? Ah, damn it. You're talking to me. Okay, I think Burton was talking to Halan a while ago. Uh, there we go again. Uh. Much obliged, and thank you kindly. Enjoy hurling your guts out! Oh yeah, sure thing. You're very welcome. Whoops, I spoke again. Ugh, screw this curse. Oops. Crap! You scared the bequeezus out of me. What do you want? Looking for some fella named Burton Briggs. Where's he at? <sighs> I'm gonna have a freaking heart attack at this rate. Look, I saw Burton with... <sighs> what did you... Did you just... No? Okay. Saw Burton with Gina. Now leave me alone. I'm... <sighs> what was that? Nothing? I'm okay. I'm okay. Please don't be some kind of weirdo like those other two. Oh, piss off with all that. I don't need this right now. Or ever! Screw you! Whoa there now! Don't gotta be coming at me like that! Just looking to find Mr. Burton breaks us all. Burton? That drunken moron who plays detective? Yeah, I know where he is. Told me he was going off to the freaking cemetery like an idiot. Now get out of my face! Sheesh! Who put a bee in her bottom? Morons! Everyone's morons! And I'm so angry about it! Ah, damn it! Snuck 
into the captain's quarters, past a horde of unspeakable fleshy horrors. There, I found a skeleton key possessed by the spirit of a keelhauled stowaway named Paul. He's now guiding me through a dark wood to the spire of racking despair. For you, one for me. Hey, you really saved my ass, friend. Thank you. Now, what's I doing here again? Oh, right. I almost forgot that I can't remember anything. It's my curse. Name's Burton. Burton Briggs. But I think I go by Bert. Let's try it out. Call me Bert. Uh, howdy, Bert. How are they hanging? No, that's not right. Burton it is. So, what's your story, friend? Some mad lad dropped a cursed ring that got itself onto me bud Wainwright's finger. Trying to figure that whole thing out. Cursed ring? Hmm. I've got a hunch it's got something to do with those bonded. And I always follow my hunches. I think. But if it's the bonded you're investigating, you should head to the town archives. Here, this key should get you in. My way of saying thanks. As for me, I can't remember what the six and a half hells I was doing here, so I'll head back to the old, uh, lonesome shop. Now that we're working together, Here's a completely unsolicited monologue about my life. Actually, I was enjoying the quiet for a... It all started with... Well, I'm not sure. I'm a man without memories. There's just a cloud of dark fog in their place. But I know <laughs> I'm searching for something. Answers to questions. I've already forgotten. Gets bullets. Just between us, Vault Hunter, I feared this weekend wouldn't have enough excitement, but now we are embroiled in occult secrets, diabolical curses, and great big monsters. It's the wedding I owe this dream now.
unknowable hours. Mostly because they're not posted anywhere. Only way in is through the old librarian, Harriet. Bullets and bombs! down. This is a place of quiet learning and solemn contemplation. Hey, Harriet. Let them in, won't you? I helped you find that missing locket, didn't I? Oh, fine. But don't you cause a ruckus, you hear me? And this makes us even, Bert. By that work, I wasn't sure if that locket bit was true. Now, you'll want to make your way to the holography room to find what you're searching for. The holo projector will have some info on the town's history. is dead and lost to time. A charming introduction as ever, Vincent, my love. Kithian's physiology can only be described as otherworldly. Though its body is dead, its heart still beats. This requires further study. Who knows what xenobiological revelations it has for us? This is the start of a whole new life for us, my darling. Right, right. The founders. Vincent and Eleanor Olmstead. Uh, you'll find more holotapes around the archives, uh, I'm guessing. Uh, I'll let you handle this bit. You'll have to excuse me for a moment. Uh, I must be stoically pensive. <sighs> If I were the Ohm's 
bastards. I'd hide my past where nosy citizens wouldn't happen across it. Wait, am I in Olmstead? No, 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 that's not right. I'm Burton. Burton Briggs. Or Burton. <laughs> Not their favorite. They're not even proud of you. You think you're such hot shit. 